Well, banned Bananarama to form what I suppose could be called the king-sized gypsy bananas. <laughs> they'll, be, um, they'll be showing us the offspring of their union, long train running, a bit later on. But let's meet the girls, whose appeal has been described as loose-limbed joie de vivre. I can't do better than that. Bananarama. <laughs> I've got a blonde one this side and a dark one this side. It's lovely. <laughs> so, now let's get the names sorted out because you aren't just Banana Rama. It's Sarah, Sarah and Karen, Karen and, and Jackie. Jackie. Right. Ten years together, you two yeah, at least. How, how did you manage that? Um, well, I've known Karen since I was about seven. We went to infant school and right up to secondary school. And then we left home together, lived in the YWCA together, and then formed a group. I heard that this was formed by accident. Well, we lived above um, the rehearsal room of the ex-Sex Pistols, funnily enough, in complete and utter squalor, and uh, it was just a case of messing around on the instruments with them, and uh, Paul Cook, who is drumming with us tonight, funnily enough, um, suggested we took it seriously, made a career out of it. Well, you, you were in it for laughs, really, to start with, but then the yeah. success came. Did that take you by surprise? Um, yeah, I think it took a long time for us to um, take it seriously, and uh, we managed ourselves for a long time. No um, idea, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of the uh, the send up of the, that Saunders and uh, French and Saunders did of you? I think a lot of people thought we we saw would take it seriously, but um, our sense of humour prevailed. <laughs> they actually sent it to us before it went out, and they already had the idea of doing the comic relief thing, and they sent it, and me and Sarah just howled and rolled around the floor. And, um, oh, it, was, it was very near to the bone, actually. It was. It was too close <laughs> a bit to too near to the bone. <laughs> well, you may or may not have heard, of course, what Josie said about you on Friday Night Live. Mm. Funnily oh, enough, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> you know, videos are getting more and more like adverts nowadays, aren't they? I mean, in one of them banana rama vids, you'll expect the cameras to pan down at any minute to their handbags on the dance floor <laughs> and for there to be a bottle of head and shoulders sticking out the top. <laughs> Ooh, head and shoulders? I didn't know you had a good singing voice. I don't! <laughs> I'm sorry, girls, I didn't mean that nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Lying. Well, of course. Oh, sure. <laughs> you forgive me. I saw it her. at the time, actually. Yeah. yeah. I've hated her ever since. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm sitting between these two. Yeah. You work very hard on your dance routines, don't you? Very hard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as you'll hard. see later. We're Excuse trained me. dancers, as you know. Mm. So yeah. it's very no, easy it really for us. A, it's an extension of the way we behave in a, a club or party situation, I think. We do tend to be quite extravagant on the dance floor. And do you still use a lot of exotic male dancers? Well, we've got a fair old band tonight. Um, we do like to dress up our male dancers. It amuses us no end. We've done many videos, <laughs> and uh, one particular performance, we made them wear sort of high-cut black pants and stockings, <laughs> and uh, they all refused, and we said, well, you can't, because otherwise we'll dock your wages. So did they it. did it regardless. Wonderful. Because you, you've had that experience already, haven't yes. you, Josie? Is there more of that plan? No, I found that really difficult, all that dancing. Really difficult. But I did like the men, and I liked the fact that they said... <laughs> they, they, they said you, you can choose which one you want to tie up and which one you want to squeeze. Yeah, yeah we, we know the, the one, one you yeah. chose. <laughs> 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 oh, he's an squeeze? <laughs> Go ahead. Hand me down. <laughs> Your male fans sometimes get a bit sort of uh, over emotional, don't they? Well, we've got quite a mixed fans. I mean, I'd say they were half male and half female. I mean, but in Japan, they do tend to come up and, oh, and, in Japan. and touch you and just go. <gasps> <laughs> and you never know what to do and you think they must be about 10 years old but it turns out An they're sort of 23 years yeah. old and <laughs> philosophy students and things and it's quite they just, they just can't, can't take it yeah, yeah. and then you get your building br builders brigade you know or blondie show us your buffers <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Josie, 
Josie, how do I couch this question? How do you uh, handle the men in your audience? Like that. <laughs> And that shuts them up? Yeah, <laughs> totally. Gives them a very high voice as well. <laughs> Jolly, good. It's, your fans send you their intimate thoughts, though, that they write quite a lot of poetry. Yeah, I think, I think um, anyone in the limelight, I'm sure you get it yourself, they, they receive fan mail. We get some strange stuff. Some of it's sort of a bit worrying. Um, what worries you? Um, well, you get the odd sort of person who you know is a sort of a slightly deranged. I had them. Um, a girl who I'd actually caught breaking, breaking into my room in a hotel in New York and she was going through my stuff and she'd obviously found stuff with my address on and started writing to me and told me I was poisonous and I was the mother of a poisoned child and oh poison this and that. I don't know where she got it from. Mm. What nationality was that lady? American. American. Yes, well. <laughs> <laughs> Josie, what, uh, can I ask you about mail? Do you get odd stuff? Uh, I, I did start to get odd stuff, um, but, but now it goes through the agency and it, it, a lot of it gets vetted, I think. Does yours get looked at? Yeah, yeah, sometimes it can just be so upsetting. Just people that say, uh, Miss Lawrence, you are a filthy, disgusting woman, type thing. <laughs> but because but, I did a heavy metal thing on Whose Line once where I used the microphone, you know, yeah, a bit yeah, naughtily. Yeah. But, but they, they all the, if you noticed, all the mad ones all have real spidery handwriting. <laughs> really weird. And one guy sent me a, an envelope of his own hair once. St straight hair, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was frightening. But sometimes you get lovely things like poetry is, is nice. And you get asked out for dates, well, probably you a lot more than me. But I mean, probably. you see, you have to... You, <laughs> Maybe. you see, it's better. They're, they're writing to somebody else really aren't they do, do you feel that yeah, definitely if they see you on the screen and that it's not really you you know of a night time eating I your think toast and drinking your tea when they meet you in real life and discover what you're really like mm. now your new single is out with gypsy kings um was this another accident almost <laughs> yeah we were, we we um we walked in we were going to write the last song on the album and uh our producer youth was playing a doobie brothers album when we walked into his rehearsal room and we just said, oh, what a great song, should we do that? So he's writing a new track. And uh, when we finished recording it, it sounded quite Spanishy. so we thought we'd go the whole hog and get the proper flamenco guitarist to play. They don't speak a word of English, do they? No. no. That must have been interesting. Well, we didn't actually go to the recording session. I mean, we, you know, we're superstars. For but tonight's the night. I know you're going to prepare yourselves uh, for the performance, we so you're are. going to wear something sort of dark, I know what. Exactly the same, I think. Oh, <laughs> we're going to limber up some other way then, yeah, we'll look forward to you. Great. Okay, so that's <laughs> something, to, <laughs> something to look forward to, and uh, we'll take a break now, and after that we'll meet David Jason. <laughs> Thanks for your company. Now, this is the last studio edition of Aspen & Company for the time being. We're off to America, trawling for fresh company. I rather fancy one of those Oscars. And now here with Bananarama, the Gypsy Kings, or as they prefer now to be called, Alma de Noche, and Long Train Running. Bye for now. Thank you.